Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button, swing climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. I really do appreciate all of the support, ladies and gentlemen, currently sitting at 1,054 subscribers, and you know what? It's been a hot minute since I've talked about the market. You know, we just had YCS Sydney wrap up, of course, tier element one. However, two runic decks did come in the top 32. Uh, so I do think that it's interesting to look at the market from time to time, especially after big events, and especially too, because we are on the cusp of a new core set, that being Photon Hypernova come February. And so it's always good to take a look at the market and see what it's doing, uh, you know, before that drops. So starting off with Power of the Elements, the best set of 2022, uh, you're looking at $67 for first addiction boxes, 64 on um limbs, uh, it's Ultimate Slayers, the, How the Mighty Have Fallen. My Starlight I pulled on pre-sale was 600 now they're below 200 17 for regular copy. Sprite Elves have gone up from 5 to almost $16 now. Gurus have dropped a little bit. They're sevens. Everything in here is going to be pretty cheap for the most part because people are expecting a ban list to come through and just destroy everything. You know, Rhino's Heart sixes. Kit Kalos are twos. Kaleidos are dollar fifties. Even the field spell is only 37. These things used to be 60 to $70. Like, honestly, if you want to play tier, it's really not that expensive. I also want to mention uh, Amazing Defenders. Do not buy this trash. <laughs> this, this set is fucking garbage. Uh, do not buy it. There is nothing good in this set. The firefighter uh, rescue ace shit is garbage. Uh, the X pearly stuff will maybe be good, but I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Um, and then I think that there's some other archetype in here that's really irrelevant. I forget what it is, um, but it's, it's nothing on my radar that I'm even concerned with. But if you want to get in, you can at $61 a box. I mean, I, I personally wouldn't touch it. Dark wing boo boo stain, as I call it. You're looking at 86 on boxes. Uh, <laughs> these are almost 70 on Fenrir's. These were at like 58, 62s when I last checked. Now they're on up to 70s. Unicorns have skyrocketed. I'm pissed about this. I bought a play set of unicorns at 13 a piece. Two showed up. The third one never did, and now they're at $22 a piece. If you want to play Cash Tira, the sale is, or the, what is it? The, the sailboat? Yeah, the sailboat is quickly sailing away. So if you want to get in on this, get your shit like five minutes ago. Uh, Magnamoots are 20s. This will probably get hit to one. Druid Worms are 12s. I wouldn't touch this stuff, honestly. Um, Zalantis's were at like fours. They're at sixes. I would say if you do want to get this, I would maybe pick up one copy uh, just to have on the side. There's a lot of potential with this card. Sprints are sixes. Spellbounds are sixes. It, I would get yourself a play set of these while you can. You, you have no reason not to. Other than that, that's pretty standard. Battles of Legend Dog Shit Revenge, or what was this? Yeah, Crystal Revenge. Yeah, so Dog Shit Revenge. Uh, unless you're pulling an Axis Code or an Exodia, nah, there, there's there's nothing here. And it's a damn shame because, like, I mean, it, there's there's a lot of cool stuff in here, right? But it's like, e even Ian Shuffle isn't worth a lot. Yeah, Draco Future isn't worth a lot, which, I mean, that's good, like, if you just want to buy singles. Um, but like I even bought out my local OTS store. I bought out the rest of their crystal revenge boxes because I figured why not Christmas gift to myself. And like out of eight or nine boxes, I didn't pull any starlights, which I wasn't really expecting that that's something more like you expect out of like a case. Um, but there's just nothing in this set, man. And then I really want to bring this up because I feel so good about myself. <laughs> so light force sword, super rares. I got my play set at a quarter a piece. These things are seven ninety five, eight dollars for near mint copies. Now, the first eds are going to actually run you eight on the dot, but these things cap out. What do these things cap out at? $20 for near mint first edition. I got my copies at quarters. Now, keep in mind, like I've talked about this card before. It's funny because I talked about it and then everyone else suddenly started talking about it, uh, even though I talked about it like months ago. Uh, it banishes a random card from the opponent's hand face down. So the card that gets banished, you can use a Rise Heart to get it back, and then the opponent just never gets it, but it also banishes it face down, so that triggers Shangri-La. I'm telling you, in your side deck, like I talked about in the deck profile, you're going to want to play 3 Light 4 Sword with an pointer just to be able to rip cards out of the opponent's hand. Uh, next up here, just cash Tira stuff in general. Shangri-Las are still cheap. Births are cheap. Ogres and all that are cheap. The only thing that's really going to be running you money is the Fenrirs and the Unicorns that you're both playing three copies of. Once we get Photon Hypernova, we'll have a lot more cash Tira stuff, but if you want to play this deck... Just go ahead and pick up three friend rear, three unicorn. Uh, you only need two Shang, but I would say just pick up three just in case. Pick up three birth, and then just pick up some rank seven exceeds and stuff. Uh, even Ascended Thunder isn't worth all that much. 
Um, but outside of that, I kind of wanted to spend an, a few minutes just going through like the top, like most expensive things here on a uh, TCG player. Cause I honestly think that that's more interesting, especially whenever you're, you're looking at like near the end of a format. Um, I just think that it's always interesting to see kind of where the collectors, uh, prices are fluctuating. Uh, let's see, this is a legend of blue eyes. First edition, uh, pack. You're looking at almost $900 caps out at 1200. Eight ninety five ninety nine for a LOB first edition. This is a uh, North American, yeah. So good old America land. Holy balls! I just, whew, yeah. No, I, I don't know who's ever going to be buying that. Uh, Starlight Veilers at over eight hundred. Champion Pack Book of Moons six hundred dollars. Jesus Christ! United We Stand promotionals are six seventy five. Dualities Starlights are still holding the line at five sixty four. These things are still. Over $500, even after the reprints. Magician of Fate Champion Pack, 300 That's probably for like a mod play, I would imagine. Uh, let's see. Ancient Prophecy, $525. So, I actually pulled a Starlight Rare Black Rose uh, out of my Lightning Overdrive case that I bought. Near Mint First is $524.95. These things are finally above the $500 mark. They finally have moved past that. I am genuinely impressed as my dumbass clicks on the wrong thing here. Uh, let's see. Ghost or Chaos Neos is over $1,000. Like, it's not worth it. The only Chaos Neos you should ever get is the Rainbow Dragon misprint. Even then, that's like ten grand. Uh, Soul of the Duelist is 800 LOB first edition box are out of stock. Market price was 500 Yeah, not anymore. You're, for one LOB box first edition, you're looking at like $15,000. Uh, Trap Dust Shoot Super Rare is over 200 Dark Charmers Starlights are almost 400 <laughs> So let's see, Night Assailant Champion Packs are over 200 That That $199.99 price is probably for like a mod play. That's what you've got to keep in mind with all these prices. Even though they're expensive, they might be like for mod plays. Uh, Parrot Dragons, why the fuck are people buying this out? World Championship 2011 Card Pack. Mod play for $250. What's a near mint? Near mint for $650 and then caps out at $670. I get that like if you're a collector, like you want this for your collection, but like why? Like I would rather... I'd rather get an Ultimate Rare Air Neos. In fact, what does Ultimate Rare Air Neos go for? Hit me with this first edition. First edition damage is 200 for German. Kiss my ass. Uh, light play first for 600. Near Mint first German is 1,000. Near Mint first English is 1,189 cent. Uh, and then 1,190 cent. And then 1,590 cent. Bruh. The undercutting. Like, real talk. You're looking at $1,100 for an Ultimate Rare Air Neos. That, that's... That is toxic, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I do not need to collect cardboard that bad. Dark R Multis, uh, somewhere in the 300 range. Uh, best Yaris are 85s for Champion Pack Supers? No, they're not that cheap. Yeah, no, damage for 85. So someone sat on it and farted on it. Uh, light Play Unlimbs are 117s. Okay, that's actually not, that's not terrible. Uh, let's see here, Near Mint. But, 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 Near Mint Unlim for 300. Well, it's only going to be on them. So you're basically looking at $300 for uh, Best Diari Super Rare. That's actually not terrible. Um, Gladiator Beast stuff. What is what is that looking like in 2023? Uh, Herc Ultis are over $100. Let, let, let me just click on it. I'm not going to be fucking lazy. That ulti does look hot. Like, that straight up looks hot. Look at that jump. It went from 92 all the way up to 102. Uh, let's see, light play unlimbs for 75, or 79, no, 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 oh, it only came as unlim, okay, so you're looking at what, near mint, is there even a near mint on the market, $150 for English, oh my god, what's going on back here in turbo pack booster 2, uh, the foolish barrels are over $90, yeah, that doesn't surprise me, uh, chaos sork is like $200, necro valley commons are sevens, of course they are, my bodies are like dollars. Anti spells are a couple bucks out of this set. Wow. Okay. I see you. That's interesting. Huh. I'm uh I'm actually genuinely impressed by those prices. Uh let's go ahead and check one more thing here. Ooh, test testicle test tigers, the testy tiger. Let's let's check this here, shall we? So testy boys, ultimate rares. This is what we want. This is what dad came to see. Uh, but, 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 all these mod plays. It is so easy to make an ulti mod play because they were so bendable. Light play unlim is 125 and a penny. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's, hit, hit me with that first edition. 
First edition heavy play is 70. Jesus Christ. 150 for mods. I am for light plays. Uh, 182s, 200s. Near Mint first edition Ultimate Rare Test Tiger is $250. So, like what? Max Rarity Glare Beast? You're probably looking at like a grand. Woo! Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your market today. Please let me know down in the comments below what you think. Do you enjoy my market watches? I like to look at things that most other people don't look at. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.